How's it guys? I just wanted to share some tips with you that the game doesn't really explain or even tell you at all. So uh, we're gonna start with your gear. As you can see in the top here, there, it says 82.1%. That is the durability of my armor. If it drops below 80%, you start to lose stats. Like it becomes less uh, resistant to bullets, less uh, laceration resistant. Uh, it protects you less. And for the same for the weapons, uh, they become less powerful, do less damage that kind of thing so what you're gonna do is you'll come to this guy here that's this is the repair guy and you'll speak to him sorry first of all you need to take all your gear off otherwise it doesn't show up so then you're gonna talk to him and then you just shift and left click and it automatically moves it over. You could also drag it over if you want. And you repair it. Repair that. And that's how you keep your gear functioning at 100%. Next up, you have an item wheel. This is the item wheel. If you hold the C key, it comes up with several items that you put in here, and then you can use them. So like, I like to, if you press the C key, it, it uses a med kit, right? So now, say you, you got bitten by a rat and you, you have a bleed. You don't want to use an entire med kit just for a bleed. So I use uh, the quick, the item key, uh, select, and I just put a bandage in there, so I can just use a bandage quickly like that. Um, also helps with ammunition. If you die, you, you drop all your loose items that are not bound. So uh, this is a loose, loose item, it's not bound. These are all not bound. This ammunition here is not bound. So if you look here, this is bound, it has a little shield symbol, it says not dropped upon death. So now this is my bag of ammo. So instead of unloading all your ammo, and then you die and you lose it all, you can put it in here, assign it to a key, and then when you need ammo, you simply mouse over and let go. And it will give you 60 rounds of ammunition. And you can do that as needed. Same with uh, med kits and grenades, anything that, that has a pouch. You can do that. See, it's got the lock symbol. It's bound, so I won't drop it on death. Okay, next up. Uh, you can quickly use items. Say you, it's not bound in your, your wheel and you want to use it. And you, and you need to use it quickly. Say you, you, you fill up with radiation, you're dying, quickly want to use your your little anti-radiation pills and you simply hold the shift key and you right click and it uses the item same if you want to get some items out of a out of a container hold the shift key right click and there they are now talking about grenades if you look in the bottom right corner underneath your ammo counter it says 30 out of 30 it shows a little grenade symbol and it says zero. That means I do not have grenades equipped. So now you could do this and place them in. So now when you press the G key, it'll throw a grenade. But if it's not equipped and you press the G key, it'll do nothing. So what you can do is, um, if it's not equipped, like say you've just thrown two grenades, but you want to throw more and you, you're spamming your G key, it's doing absolutely nothing. So what you can do is you hold down the G key, mouse over the grenade you want to use, and let go. And it auto-equips the grenade for you, and now you can press uh, G to auto-throw. Um, yeah, next up we have ammunition. 
there are different types of ammunition. Let me just go over to this guy. He doesn't have any different kinds, so I'm sure I do. Okay, there we go. Right, we have expanding ammunition and regular ammunition. This is like a hollow point, basically. So, you would use hollow points against beasts or whatever, and normal ammunition against uh, armored opponents like players. So, say you want to you want to switch the ammo type, and you don't want to like do it through the menu or whatever. You can hold down the R key, and then you have an ammunition wheel. Now you can switch to normal ammo, or you can switch to expanding ammo. Just let go, it reloads it, full up with that ammo. Just like that. Okay. In on your your mini map, in the top right hand corner there, the the, the top left hand corner of the mini map shows a number thirty. Now, that is a player counter. If I go outside, you'll see that drops down to one, and it made an audible noise. There, and it popped up to two, and it made a noise. Because there's another player in the vicinity. Now it counts any player. It could uh, pick up an enemy player. Could pick up a friendly. See, it makes a noise as as it keeps going. As I move further away, like there's a guy in front of me. If I move away from him, let me just run away. See, as he drops out of range, it drops down to one, and we are no longer pick him up. However, I can still see him. So, uh, a player could get the drop on you by using a long-range weapon like a sniper rifle, for instance. So, just do not rely on that too much. Thirdly, um, when if you want to run really fast. Let's say you've you've got a long way to run. Like you want to run to the to the garages over here, and it takes forever. So while you have a weapon in your hands, you run normal speed. However, if you look at your melee weapon, you'll notice there there's a, a movement speed bonus plus six percent. So while you're holding your melee weapon, you run faster. Six percent. It depends on what weapon you have and what kind of bonus it has. But uh, while you're carrying it, the bonus applies and you run faster. As you see, I'll slow it down there. I'll take it up. I'll speed up somewhat. It's not a huge amount, but uh, if you have um, quite an advanced melee weapon with a with a really nice bonus, it can it can get quite high. Back to armor. You may have found some armor plates. They look like that. Now, to be able to use them, the armor you have needs an armor plate slot. So, let's check this one. Modding. This one has an armor plate slot. This one does not. So if you don't see anything there and you're not sure, like you've picked up an armor plate, you're not sure what to do with it. It, it just simply means that the armor you're using cannot accept an armor plate. If it can, it will have this little slot here. And then you just right click, modify, and you can add or remove. Or you can simply take a, a plate and drag it onto your, your armor and it will auto install it for you. Next up, um, you're looking at your character. You've bought your shiny new armor. You want to know what it looks like. Or you've put a... Let's go modification. you put a, a, a paint on it. A skin. Like, like this. this. It doesn't normally look like this. So you want to you see what it looks like. So now you could do it like this. You could right click, modification, look at it like this. Or, 
you press the F5 key, which opens third person. So you can see what it looks like while you're running around. You can see what your backpack looks like. You press the F5 key again, and it shows you from the front. So you can see what your shiny new armor looks like, as well as what it looks like while you move and all that stuff. Next up, when you press escape, you'll notice this, Zivcas Corporation. This is the battle pass. Now, as you play the game, you will get season points. Like you might have noticed while you're running around, you've, you've killed some beasts, you uh, looted their den, and then you got a little thing that said uh, season points. Now, when you come back to base, it automatically applies it as you uh, walk into the base and then adds the points now you can also get points by completing season tasks you get daily tasks as well as weekly now as you can see the weeklies give significantly more points plus various bonuses and the dailies give uh, a little bit less but it's still it's worth doing because when you when you do them you receive these items now whether you pay or not for the battle pass you will receive these art the the free items if you do pay for the battle pass sorry the season pass as they call it then you receive the this bottom row of items as well but free players we still receive all the all the stuff and you find you get some really cool stuff like you're going to open these boxes and they have a chance to drop um, backpacks skins uh, various items uh, like there you can see a collimator site an optical site uh, there are uh, a couple of weapons in there I believe they are armor and there's also um, repair things, uh, skins, and there are parts to to trade for uh, very high-end weapons. Uh, also, you can get various currencies, like uh, this here, credits. That's that there. Uh, once you get that, you can click, come here to the shop, click that. And then you can you can purchase certain things with the, the currencies you get. Like there's act, act tickets. That's a currency you get from the battle pass. And then you can purchase certain things with them. Like there you could buy an AK or whatever. You can buy a melee weapon. You can buy armor. Or you can come over here. Okay, you can't buy any of those. Yeah, there's credits. You can buy crates that have various different items inside like you get a chance to get master level gear which is very rare the chances of you get it are very slim but you also have veteran and stalker class items so if you do not mind gambling uh, you can use the points to get that you can get some really cool stuff uh, it's quite fun or you can simply buy crates or uh, where is it now equipment not this one I think I believe it's under other there you can buy tools spare parts and tools now these if you have one of each you take you take it to this guy and then you put an object in there you say modification now this will do absolutely nothing if I upgrade it but I'm just illustrating so you put the items in there and then you click upgrade and it will upgrade the, the object so let's take my M16 pop it in there modify see it upgrades it plus 76 percent damage and plus 76 percent damage at range which is quite a a useful uh upgrade 
So as you do that, you upgrade the level. This is the level here. And that's how you do that. Next up. We have messages. Now, you'll, you'll notice when, when you started the game, it said, where is it now? Ah, it showed you daily rewards and you said continue and whatever. Unfortunately, if you're in the starter area, there is no courier here. So you cannot collect that item. But if you go to the garages area, the garages area has a courier. So when you walk in there, you can click this little mail item. You can click this and then you'll be able to take the package. Unfortunately, you cannot do that in the swamps because as there's no courier. But over, over there in the garages, you can collect your items. Right. Next up, if you click your profile, you can click here. Activate promo code. Now, there's two that are currently active. This is one of them. And the, the other code is summer 24 damage. Week one dash L-E-T-S-C. Now, if you type that in and you click activate, if I click, I've already used it, so it's going to tell me you've uh, you've already activated it. But for you, it'll give you a bunch of goodies. Um, as far as I know, those two are, are active at this moment. Um, you might be seeing this a week from now, and it might not be active. Uh, unfortunately, that's just the way things are. Uh, but if you see this video in time, uh, you should receive some goodies for free. And that's always good. Everybody likes free stuff. And that is all the tips I have for you. I hope they help. I hope there's a few things there that you didn't know. Um, if that is so, if it did help you, please uh, leave a like and subscribe for future content. Anyway, cheers guys. Take care.